that dress. Baby. <laughs> I was scrolling through, hash through your Facebook and I saw a new hashtag. Did you see it? Yeah, me too. I read the copy and paste instructions and kept scrolling. Did you? Yeah, me too. Whilst I have been assaulted and I have most definitely been harassed, I've talked about it, I've processed it, and I didn't feel like repeating it. Maybe you felt the same way. Yeah. Me too. Every woman knows this is a problem, so why do we keep bringing it up? Oh yeah, but the men are surprised by how widespread this is. So I guess the conversation is needed. I guess I can wade through these many posts and read story after story of abuse. Can you? Yeah. Me too. But wait. There's something emerging from these stories. Did you see it? These new perspectives? Yeah. Me too. There are stories of women abused by women, men abused by men, and even men abused by women. As the conversation shifted, I was surprised. Were you? Yeah, me too. I realised it was easy to get on board the viral train and add my stories as just the same to be the woman, the victim, and man, make men to blame. But what I was seeing was a complicated human web of shame. So I thought beyond gender and my own pain. I thought beyond being the victim to where I'd done the same. I thought back to the times I had ogled men and turned their bodies into a prize to which I could gloat about to my friends. I thought back to the times a partner of mine was tired or in pain or wasn't turned on but didn't have the words to say no. And as a master manipulator I took from him in that silence, I realised that then I was no better than those men who took false belief from me in my silence. And then I took a deep breath and I surveyed the damage and I pondered why we humans cause each other such damage. Why do some men look at this body like it is a plaything? Where did they learn this? Why have I looked at some men like their body is my plaything? Where did I learn this? And beyond all this, beyond the cause of the problem, I pondered and wanted to find a solution. What will it take for you and me to love and honour the humans around thee? What will it take for you and me to honour the know of any person at any time, on any matter, not just sex alone? And what will it take for you and me to demand and expect the same in return? I think the answer is simple. Perhaps not as easy as it sounds. This solution has just two words like our viral campaign. Love and courage are what I feel will win this game. Love for ourselves to speak up for our needs and our wants, our yeses and noes, and the courage to stick to them. And love for the other, regardless of gender, for their needs and wants, their yeses and noes, and the courage to honour them. That's the world I want to live in. Do you? Yeah, me too.